Hello. It's me, Ray. Human advancement knows no boundary. From some raiders, and this. But this has not been without its price. Is uh. Oh dear. Oh fucking Sean Bean. He's dead again. <laughs> stand at the height of prosperity. This is uh Civ Six. Only look to the past to remember. Sid Meier's Civilization Six. The new expansion. Nature is Gathering power Storm. That cannot be ignored. Consuming even the mightiest empires. And causing the greatest among us to tremble in her fury. So this is uh, one of my favorite games. Yet from adversity, the human spirit endures. Finding ways to coexist with the earth. Nice, much Picchu. Yeah, so this is the new expansion, Gathering Storm. Or bend it to our cause. Pursuing a course beyond distant horizons and revealing paths. Both towards innovation and unintended catastrophe. Ah, I see a proper pirate have started playing Rainbow Six. I probably should appear offline. <laughs> Our survival necessitates new solutions to old problems. To ensure a future generations to come you oh my god he lives purpose we must now look beyond borders and welcome the dawn of the next era in human civilization I guess you could say that this is a civilization game <laughs> I should just stop the recording there and just go end myself Welcome, Sid Meier's Civilization VI, Gathering Storm, brand new expansion, legitimately hot off the press, right, released uh, for play two hours ago. What the fuck is going on here? Goodness gracious me, I am not even... <laughs> look at the cute little sun go. Uh, look. Oh boy, I'm liking it. New multiplayer mode available. Play by cloud. Ah, that's new. Alright. Cool beans. Let's start a game. Create a game. Gathering Storm. So let's have a look at some of the new leaders. We have Dido, the founder of Carthage. Uh, all about loyalty and uh, trading. Eleanor of Aquitaine, both for England and France. I like that they made her look a little bit older for England, because uh, that's how it happened. She was leader of France, or married to the leader of France for the early years of her life, and then she moved on to England to Father Richard the Lionhearted. N not mind you, though, she also led the kingdom herself for a while there as well. We also have Christina. Of uh, Sweden? Yeah, Christina of Sweden. I heard that she's a bit of an interesting case. Abdicated a couple of years into ruling to uh, go be a Christian. Coupe. So this is basically New Zealand. Let's be honest, alright? This is New Zealand. But it's the... It's like that uh, meme where it's like, I said the real Misty. So. I said the real New Zealand. It's a picture of England colonizing. So no, I said the real New Zealand. We have the Maori. Uh, we have starting in the ocean. That's going to be a lot of fun. Now we have the guys we're going to play as Mansa Musa. 
Uh, this guy um, went on a trip. He made a pilgrimage to Mecca, I think it was. Um, and on his way through every single country um, he visited, every kingdom, he crashed their economy because of how rich he was. <laughs> We're going to be playing as him. Uh, Matthias Corvinus. Jesus Christ, that is a magnificent hair. Man, I wish I had hair like that. Look at that hair. Look at that hair. Um, he's all about levying city-states in their military. I actually don't know anything about him. Uh, um, Pachacuti? Pachacuti? Packing those cuties. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Incas, all about using hills and mountains to their absolute best. The Technicolor Crumbum is now playing some Dota. Nice. Suleiman the Great. Oh, Suleiman the Magnificent. Sorry. Suleiman the Magnificent. He's going to be a lot of fun to play. Um, then, of course, we have uh, Canadia. Just to trigger other people there. Canadia. Under Wilfred Laurier. So. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not very familiar with these couple these guys. I know more about these people than I do with these guys. Anyway, let's get started. Mansa Musa, let's go with a standard map. Continents, game speed, quick, king, disaster <laughs> intensity. Zero to four. <laughs> Alright, um, I always turn off time victory because, well, it sucks if you're having like a fun game, you're enjoying yourself, and then all of a sudden, hey, 10 turns left, lol. Fuck you then. Alright, um. We'll allow duplicate civilizations, but no duplicate leaders. That allows Eleanor of Aquitaine to be picked twice. She can lead both France and England. Um, actually, I do want to pop in Dido. And I do want to also chuck in uh, Corvinus. Um, Canadia. There we go. We'll have three guaranteed new people as well as myself, Mansa Musa. Alright, so, um, also, in addition to these videos when they go up, we'll also be doing a first 50 turn strat. Oh, ideas. Things to do when you start a game of Civ. I said that that would go up in my Battlefield videos, which I repeated many times, probably too much, but it's happening. Let's start this game and start that game. We're going to hear Sean Bean. Please give me the very best of Sean Bean. Mansa Moonsa. You successfully crippled the economies of several North African nations because of how fucking rich you were. But you gotta do it in the Sean Bean accent. From the first stirrings, From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the, to the great beasts of the Stone Age. <laughs> and taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. <laughs> Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa. You are blessed oh. with wealth beyond the comprehension. <laughs> you remain uncorrupted. Raise your oh. eyes from the marketplace to the heavens and satisfy your heart's great yearning for peace. Protect the prosperity of your people and history will write your name in golden letters. <laughs> we, might, we might start this again, I think. Alright, single player. Create game. We'll scratch that. We'll upload it, probably. We'll upload that, but, um, we'll, uh... Yeah, that, that, that was whoopsie-daisy on my part. 